We're getting better, Mick. We're getting better. We're getting better, Don. We're getting better. Remember, Devil here is saying only a little while ago that Ireland is the most spiritual state in all the world. And we're getting holier and holier as the days pass and the years roll by. This year, our fire increased by 50% above the norm. And it won't be long till Ireland again is inshallah sanctorum, the island of saints. Now that's a lot of an enterprise up to a point, Nick, up to a point. But it's soldiers we want now and not saints. That's our present problem, though some don't seem to realize it. Do you know what that ignorant Egypt, Muldoon the solid man, said? when he was told that the Russians could come down from the Irish skies in swarm. No, then I didn't. Dan. The venom is Egypt said it would be better and fitter for us to guard against the swarm of green flies and the swarm of black flies that drop from the Irish skies and destroy the crops. Did he know? Such persons should be arborized into places where they couldn't be found talking. Go on, Dan, my son, what else? You see, Mick, we're too small to fight the Russians on our own. It isn't that we haven't the courage. You're right there, Dan. Right there. We have the courage right enough. Let me like a soldier fall, huh? Ah, you're right, Dan. We're twice too small, though, to fight for yourselves. We would have to have help. You see, Mick, Ireland's so important that in a war, Russia would need to take her over in an hour. An hour, Mick? Does that ring a bell? Yes, a whole peel of them. But then what? Well, man, we have to get help at once, at once. And what about England, John? England? Why, man alive, she'd be fighting for her life and couldn't spare even a policeman from point duty. So what, Dan? What we need, Mick, is swarms and swarms of jeeps. Jeeps, be jeepers. Yes, jeeps, me. Each with a driver, a spare driver, a commander, and a world operator. Every able-bodied man in Ireland in a jeep here. A jeep there with a sten gun, a hammer, and prayers headphone, and a jeepsy walkie-talkie. That's the one solution, Mick. And a trailer to every jeep down. Ah, oh, man, use your brains. Think a little. How the hell could a jeep jump ahead of your trailer attached? But, Dan, what would the ordinary cars and pedestrians do on the roads buzzing with jeeps? You haven't thought of that. I don't like that idea at all. Man alive, there wouldn't be a man, woman, child or chicken left alive in the country. No, no, count me out of that idea. Oh, think again, Mick, think again, for God's sake. Your thoughts aren't exact enough yet to gather it all in. Look, if they were all done for itself, wouldn't death on our own roads be better than exportation be the Bolsheviks to an unknown destination? Now try to take that in, me. I am taking it in. You're not the only one who can take things in. What exportation are you talking about? Look, me. The expert put it plain before us all. The military expert, mind you. A nation like Russia that holds 15 millions and more in concentration camps. Wouldn't cast a thought about eliminating thousands of Irish men, women and children, the expert said. It would be only child's play to the Russians, the expert said. Mm, true saying, Dan. True for me, true for you, true for all. A pity all this wasn't said to the Egypt ladder with a swarm of green flies and a swarm of black flies. It was said, me. It was, was it? I bet that bet him. And what did the solid Egypt say to all them, Hope? And where, said he, would the Russians find the ships and the trains to cart our people to exportation? Four millions of us, he says. Siberia's a long way off. If you ask me, he says. Aha! Oh, that was a scalp of the gob for you, Dan. That was a sensible question, and a sensible remark for the Yeejee to make, anyhow. And how was it a sensible remark? And how was it a sensible question for me? Where's your brains, man? 
The Bolsheviks wouldn't be dreaming in Siberia, on the Isle of Man only a few feet away from our own green border. Aha, Dan, I, I bet that hadn't been. He hadn't had the imagination to think of the Isle of Man, the easy. Isn't that shocking? What about our well-known love of country? Why didn't you counter him with that thing? I did, so I did. And how did the Egypt react to it? Look, Mrs. He, prodding me in the chest with his forefinger. Look, he says, if the Bolsheviks' land is the kind of country you are saying it is, then the Russians that will drop from our Irish skies onto our amateur sod will be, says he, some poor devil seeking asylum. Seeking asylum, is it? What a lunatic asylum is it he must be doing? Oh, no, no, man. An ordinary asylum, an ordinary asylum. What ordinary asylum? There's no ordinary asylum. When a body says, we're taking a certain party to the asylum, we mean a lunatic asylum, don't we? Yes, yes, but there's no but about it. An asylum's an asylum, John. There's no but about it. Yes, there is. There isn't, I'm telling you. I'm telling you that there's different asylums. For instance, a deaf and dumb side. Oh, maybe. But the paratroopers dropping from our skies won't be deaf and dumb, will they? I know they don't. For Jesus' sake, don't try to be as big an Egypt as the other fellow. Who's an Egypt? You're talking like an Egypt now. You're talking like an Egypt yourself. A fully fledged one. Wanting to flood the country with jeeps. While you're at it, will you kindly tell us who's going to provide the hundred thousand jeeps to go galloping around? and lay us all out, dead as mackerel, on the roads of air. And if we do put into every one of them, as your expert advises, a driver, a spare driver, a commander, and a wireless operator with his walkie-talkie, adding them all stretched out, flat and dead on the roads, will you tell us who's going to look after the common things that have to be daily done to keep the country going? Aha, you're silent now. That's bet you. And listen, another thing. While America might be dropping the jeeps, what's to prevent the Bolshevs at the same time from dropping their paratroops and filling the jeeps as they touch down? That's what your jazz and jeeps would do. Provide the Bolshevs with a rapid and logical means of locomotion through the whole of our unfortunate country. Isn't that so? I'm going. I wouldn't listen to you any longer. Stop a minute, Mick. Stop a minute. I'm going. I wouldn't listen to anything more. I'm going. Stop with your gypsy weepsy and your talky walkies. I am off. Good boy, Mick. Think it all over. Take your time. Thank you.